Because it, because it, Nate Bargatze talked about this, where where Sebastian was going to the Oscars because he was, his movie was nominated for an Oscar. Okay. The Green Book or something like that, or Green Mile, I don't know, whatever it was. He was in it. Yeah, I remember seeing him in yeah. something. And they gave him. He was like, "Sweet, so I get to go. My movie's been nominated." He wasn't a lead, you know. It was an ensemble thing. And they're like, "Yeah, we'll get you a ticket." Uh, and he goes, "Yeah, my wife too." And I, this is the way Nate says. I don't know if the facts are not true. He goes, "They're like, no." Just you. We don't like. There's a lot of movies nominated. A lot. That's of how low they see him. And then he got a ticket, and he was in the balcony in the back row, touching the back wall. And this guy's like, I'm selling a mass looking Square down with a tweet. He's looking down at like Will Smith's <laughs> son and all these people, and he goes, I would fill up way bigger rooms than all of you. Yeah, except, yeah. except me, Will Smith and Brad Pitt. Not the Jason rest of Smith. You, yeah, not Jason. The rest of you, I would fill up. Or more people will come <laughs> yeah, see yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I'll fill up this place, <laughs> the Kodak Theater. I'll fill it up. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, no, nope. that's how li- that's how <laughs> shit on stand up comedy is. That's, it's so fucking low. It's even funnier in Canada because it 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 really none of it matters. You they're know not what going I mean? Anywhere. Yeah. But then when they the things that they push and you're just like, it's it's <laughs> it's a whole fake operation that doesn't even mean anything for them. Yeah. Or, or the show Girls, we feel like it's big, and you look at the ratings, like it's bad. That it is got, wild. It just got written up so much because all the bloggers loved it. Yeah, those are funny things to find out where you go that big hit and you go. That, that's we have a lot of that in in Canada where when I was growing up you thought they were big hits we didn't know that the Canadian bands and the American bands when we watch MTV we would see you know the Foo Fighters Nirvana or whatever you know what I mean bands like that next to our bands like the ones I was in and if you're in high school you didn't realize and it wasn't the way it is now where you know every number is available so when you look at a song on Spotify you know how big that was and, right. and YouTube so kids are conditioned to probably know the difference now but at the time you go oh it's that band from TV it really didn't like register and then so but the, me and Berg were talking about this actually recently it's funny because you'd see those guys you go they were in your mind as big as Kurt Cobain and then you'd see him like as the bartender <laughs> <laughs> in, in real life yeah 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 and you go that's so funny how much like they just we, brainwashed us oh yeah exactly it seems big I remember joining a, a, a book show like a, at, a, at a restaurant uh, with a guy who did a half hour special on Comedy Central and I was like it just like wait, wait what? what I thought you had a mansion <laughs> And he was just doing a, a ten minute spot on a fucking in the back of a. He's like, restaurant. yeah, I got twenty grand. It didn't make any sense. Yeah, they got twenty grand and moved on. It was like it just. I, I got it later, but I'm like, you were on TV. Did you get on MTV? Were you on that at all? Uh, yeah, we were on uh, with the band. We had some like top thirty countdowns. The Canadian one's called wow. Much Music. I remember Much Music. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. Music. You actually know a lot of Canadian stuff. Is it because you tour there a lot? Yeah. Yeah, and you know. And also, I've hung comics. out there and I hung out with the Toronto scene before you were in it, probably. But yeah, we had. Um, we had that that the the yeah the music video era. That was when I I used to. That's how when I started. I was big into you know making videos and stuff. I always have. And I oh, started a little. I started a little production company in Canada when I was at the pirate ship. And I used to. I made probably like eighty music videos of other people's stuff. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. I did a lot of rap music videos because it would just be one of those things where the word would get out and then you know whatever you had your thing and then someone would be like yo my boy blah blah. I heard you do a good job on this. And then so I had a little stint where I made five or six religious rap videos and the guys. So I would show up at the thing. And Wait, religious would, themed or they were Christian rap? Christian rappers. <laughs> but it would be some You're the wrong dude, guy for this. Isn't that wild? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some dude. And it was, dude, it was the weirdest period of my life. They looking your past to see if you could do the job. The one guy, he goes, he had this, this song and it was like, I don't do it because I love it. I do it because I love him. I love him. I love him. And there was so Capital 10 H. or 15 guys, all like hood dudes, matching shirts, like very positive like guys. And then they all, it was nine, nine like fucking, you know, kind of like ho- tough looking black guys being all standing there. I love him. And they're all, you know, and I'm like standing by the camera being like, yo, this is a wild period of my life. Like- and then, <laughs> And then they also did the thing where, they wanted to do the the thing that all comedians like the black comedians do in their videos where they hold hands before and do a prayer so I, they would make me do the prayer and I would, I would be just like the whole time like don't laugh like don't laugh at their thing <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh and they're you know bless us for this fucking music video bless us for this camera and this you know day that we're able to film and yeah. you know the ability for me to make this music and shit like that right and I'm just like holy fuck this is crazy <laughs>